Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Uh, we'll continue doing this um, 3.4 chair rule. Just to go quickly, what we have, we have this, the chair rule, if you have function of function. So you have Lebesgue notation, and we have the uh, f of g of x, f circle g, how to find the derivative. Then we have f prime at g of x, then g prime, and we did the same for the power rule and for the district functions. We need to find the derivative of the things inside every time. And this is the len and the a to the power x. Okay, let me continue doing these problems. So I have, now I have function of function of function. So I have, uh, mix in this, uh, y is a function of u, and u is a function of x, and x is a function of t. So y is function of g of h of t. So a function of function of function. So this is what you need to do the same. So y prime would be f prime at g of h of t times, and it's find the derivative of this, which is g prime at h of t times, Derivative of this, which is prime at t. Or in other words, dy over dt, dy over du, and du over dx, and dx over t. As I said before, you can think of it like if you are just easy way to remember. Huh? Okay. So it means I need to find dy by du. This is what? 1 plus u to the power minus 1. So this is will be minus 1 plus u to the power minus 2. Also, I need to find d over by dx, where this is u is x minus 2 to the power half. So that will be half x minus 2 to the power minus half. And they have dx by dt there. That will be 2t minus 2. So dy <coughs> by dt will be dy by du times du by dx times dx by dt. So I have like those things here. That will be minus 1 plus u to the power minus 2, half x minus 2 to the power minus half, times 2 of t minus 1. So these two cancelled. I'm getting what? Uh, 1 minus t over 1 plus u square, and square root x minus 2. Hmm. But they have this in terms of t, u, and x. What they want? They want, actually, I need dy by dt at x equal 2, when x equal 2. So, not if x equal 2, if x equal 2, plug it here, if T, T equal to, not that X, but T equal to, sorry about that. But T equal to. <coughs> if T equal to, X will be what? 4 minus 4 plus 3, X will be 3. If X equal 3, plug it here, U equal 1. This is what I need. I need T, X, and, and U, plug it here, I'll get what? Minus 1 over... 1 plus 1 squared, that is 4 times 1. So it will be minus 1 over 4. Is it minus over 4? Yeah, it's minus 1 plus 2 to the power minus half, minus 2. There's a minus sign in half times this. Yeah, so it will be a minus sign. It should be a minus sign at times. Yeah, where t is. I can send this with this. Substitute. Yeah, I should get minus one over. Okay. Now, if we do it function of function of function, we'll do the same. What will be f prime? I have sine of something. So it will be cosine that things times derivative of this. 
cosine of something. That will be minus sine at tan x times derivative of this, which is secant of square x, and we are done. Same thing here. I have y prime e to the power something. So it will be e to the power something times derivative of this, which is secant times tan times derivative of this, which is three. Okay. More examples. <coughs> Number one, y prime will be what? I think we did something similar, no problem. We'll do it again. Times secant, four x, and four x, don't forget times four. Number two, e, now I have product rule. So y prime will be e to this. Identify the derivative of this. This is the product rule. So times what? Derivative of the first minus five times the second. Minus five x times which is the first times derivative of the second, which is minus sine three x times three. So the answer is e minus 5x cosine 3x phi minus 5 cosine 3x. Here we have what? Plus 15x sine 3x. Okay. This one, if you look at it, this is tan of 3x all square. So the outer function is the square. Three y prime will be what? Something to the power two. So that two times three x to the power one. Halas times derivative of this, which is secant to square three x times derivative of this, which is three. So that will be six times three x secant to square three x. Do more. <coughs> Here is what. This is if you notice it, it will be what sine squared of sine. Here I have cubed cosine x to the power five. We have five things: square, then sine then q, then cosine, then x to the power five. Okay, let me do four. What will be y prime? It will be two times the things inside. I rewrite it like this. Time, derivative of this, which is cosine of this, times derivative of this, which is three, Cosine x to the power five all square times <laughs> derivative of this, which is minus sine x to the power five. Are we done? No, not yet. Derivative of this five x to the power four. So that will be what two phi three phi five phi minus sine. That will be minus yeah minus thirty. Sine cosine cube x to the power five times cosine cosine cube x to the power five times cosine x to the power five all square times sine x to the power five. Oh, times x to the power four. Okay. Number five, I think it's easy. E to the, this is not sum. This plus this. E to the power sine x, derivative of this, which is cosine x, plus or minus, derivative of cosine will be minus sine of ax times ax. Number six, this is the rule, l to the power x. It will be 10 to the power x times 
length 10. Number seven, it will be three to the power one minus x squared times length three times derivative of this, which is minus two x. That's Oh, now I have function of function of function. Okay, so you need to be careful. First, you need to find f prime. That will be f prime at this times derivative of this, which is a number times a function, which is 3 f prime at this times derivative of this, which is 4 f prime at x. That's derivative of x, which is 1, so no need. So capital F prime at 0, it will be F prime. 3f of 4, f at 0, times 3f prime, 4f at 0, times 4f prime at 0. f at 0 is what? 0. So this is 4 times 0. So this is 3f prime at 0. Plus, this one, f of 0, this will be 0. I have f of 0, which is 0 times 3, so I'm still I have f prime at 0. So that gives me 12 f prime at 0 cubed, which is 12 times 2 cubed, 12 times 8, which is 96. Find all, all points in the fun graph of the function where the tangent line is horizontal. Hmm. Time is horizontal means f prime equals zero. So I need, I need to solve this equation. I need to I need to find f prime first. That will be two cosine x plus two sine x sine x. That should be equal to zero, which implies in two cosine x. I can take a common factor. I have one plus sine x equals zero. So either I have cosine x equals zero or sine x equals minus one. When cosine x equals zero, it's pi over two, pi over two, three pi over two, five pi over two, so it's pi over two plus n pi. Well, cosine equals zero. No, no, uh, yeah, well, cosine equals zero, yes. Pi over two, three pi over two, and so on. When sine x equal minus one, it's when x equal what? Sine x equal 1 at pi over 2, minus 1 at 3 pi over 2, and complete circle, which is 3 pi over 2 plus 2 n pi. Notice this is part of this. Huh? This one means what? We have pi over 2, 3 pi over 2, 5 pi over 2, 7 pi over 2, and so on. Huh? Minus pi over 2. And so on. This one is what? 3 pi over 2. 7 pi over 2, and so on. And going the other way, it's minus pi over 2, and so on. Now, these are part of this. Huh? They are here. So the answer, x equal pi over 2 plus n pi. So this is part of this. OK. Find the derivative of this function. Let me rewrite it as cosine sine of tan by x to the power half. So it will be f prime will be minus sine of all of this times derivative of this, which is something to the power half, that will be half sine of tan by x derivative of this which is cosine tan by x derivative of this secant square by x then derivative of this times by that will give me what minus by over two sine square root sine tan by x yeah, be careful here. This is the ball minus half. 
Yeah. This will be half this to the power minus half. The m derivative of this. Yeah, don't forget we have minus half here. Uh, times or over. This is what the square root sine of tan by x. And this is times cosine of tan by x times secant square of back. If you want to simplify it, or you can leave it as this. If x equals 3 to the power 2 minus x, which is what? 9 times 3 is minus x. This is my, my function, which is, let me do it. 3 to the power 2 minus x is 3 to the power 2 times 3 to the power minus x. And that is 9 times 3 to the power minus x. Okay. F prime, it will be what? 9 times 3 to the power minus x times ln 3 times minus 1. Okay, let me do it this way. Let me continue. F double prime. Now I have the numbers, which is 9 ln 3 times minus 1. 9 ln 3 times minus 1. This is the number times derivative of this. 3 is minus x times ln 3 times minus 1. In other words, this is what? 9 times ln 3 square minus times minus plus times 3 is minus x. This one I can rewrite it as minus 9 then 3 times 3 to the power minus 6. I think now we are we can see the pattern easily. That will be what? 9 times then 3 square times 3 is minus x times then 3 times minus 1, which is minus 9 then 3 cubed times 3 is minus x. What will be the end derivative? Very easy. That will be what? I have 3 to the power minus 6, and they have then 3 to the power what? But the first is to the power 1, second to the power 2, third to the power 3, so this is to the power n. And they have 9 here. Always 9 is there. And for the odd, it's negative. For the even, it's positive, so it's minus 1 to the power n. This is about the sign. So this is, will be the end derivative. Now understand the derivative. Need to go with it and see the button. Do three or four, three to five of these derivatives until you see the button. Find f twelve f eighty two at by over square root of two of this function. Let us do the function. This is the function. See the button f prime will be minus sine square root 2 of x times square root of 2. Second derivative is what? Uh, minus cosine root 2 x times root 2. This is with the, and this is another root 2. Huh? This is with the, with the function. This is because of this, huh? the second one because of this, which is, let me write it this way. Uh, minus root 2 square, or let me do it this way. Root 2 square times minus cosine root 2x. Here I'm writing it square root of 2 for minus sine root 2x. Okay. Third derivative will be what? This one will give me sine square root 2 of x times the square root of 2. So this is will be square root of 2 cubed. The fourth, now I can see the better. Huh? This one will be back to this. So that will be cosine root 2x 
times root two, which is root two to the power four. Okay. That, we need to think about it two ways. I have numbers. What's going like, like this, square root of two, square root of two squares, square root of two cubes, square root of two to the power four. And they have the function. This is, you can think of it as square root of two to the power zero, huh? which is one. So cosine square root of two x minus sine square root of x minus cosine sine cosine. So it means each four times it will go back to this times the number. The number will be changing. So the 82 derivative, 82, if we divide it by four as usual, we get 20, 80, I have two. So this is similar to the second derivative in the function times a different number. The number will be square root of two to the power 82. Because this is square root to the power four, third over three, second to the power two, and so on. And this one, I take the second for the function. I take the second, which is minus cosine square root of two x. So that will be what? Square root of two to the power 82. 82 is what? Two times 41. Because I know square root of two square. This is two to the power 41, two to the power 82. Huh? Square root of two to the power 82. This will be two to the power 41. So this will be two to the power 41 with a minus sign or sign root two X. What they want, they want the 82 derivative at by over square root of two. So a black by here, by over square root of two, that will give me minus 241 cosine of pi, which is minus one, which is two to the more two. Let it be a twice differentiable, g of x equal this, find g prime and g double prime, okay. g prime, product, derivative of the first, which is one times the second, plus x, derivative of this, which is f prime x squared, times derivative of this, which is two x. So that will be f of x square plus 2x square f prime at x square. Second derivative, do the derivative of this. Here I have just a function, chain rule, f of f prime x square times 2x plus. Here I have product, derivative of the first, which is 4x times the second plus 2x square times derivative of this. As it to this, f double prime at x square, derivative of the things inside, 2x. Now just rewrite it. That will be 2x f prime of x plus 4x f prime of x square, f prime of x square plus, what is this? 4x cubed f double prime of x square. So that will give me 6x f prime of x squared plus 4x cubed f double prime of x squared. That will be g double prime of x. Okay. g of x equal this, f of 1 equal this, blah, blah, blah. Okay. So let us do g prime. To find g prime at 1, I need g prime at x. That will be f prime at this. times derivative of this, which is a number, times the function, so it will be the number, f prime at x square times this, times 2x. Now I need g prime at 1. That will be f prime at 3, f at 1 also, times 3, f prime at 1, times what is f at one? f at one is two. f at one is two. So that will be f prime three times two, which is six, times six f prime at one, it's four, and f prime at six is five, so that will be five times 24, which is what? 120. 
find f prime at pi over two, if x equal this. So first you need to find f prime. F prime will be what? Minus sine of sine cosine x, derivative of this, cosine of cosine x, yeah, sine of cosine of cosine x, derivative of this, minus sine x. What they want? They want f prime at pi over two. That will be minus sine, sine of cosine pi over two. Okay, times cosine of cosine pi over two, minus sine pi over two. Okay, cosine pi over two is what? Zero. So that will be sine of zero, which is zero also. So this is zero. So we have minus sine, the answer should be zero. Sine of zero times cosine of zero times minus one. That will be minus sine of zero times zero uh, times, no, cosine of zero is what? One times minus one, that will be zero times, yeah, times one, which is zero. So the answer is zero. The equation of target line to this function is, so I need to find the slope, which is f prime at one, what will be f prime? If this is f of x, oops, call this m of x. So f prime at x is two secant square by x over four times by over four. I need to find f prime at one, Two secant square by over four times by over four. That will give me what? Secant of square of by over secant of by over four is square root of two. Square it. That will be two times two. It will be four times by over four, which is by. So that's the slope. And the point x equal one. That means y equal what? Two tan by over four, which is two. So I have y, this is the point one and two. Huh? Y minus two equal by x minus two. X minus one. Yeah, the point x equal one, y equal two. So y will be equal by x minus by plus two, which is this one. You want to find the derivative? Chain rule f prime will be five times this to the power four times derivative of this. Hmm. What's the derivative of this? Is one over five plus five over x square. Correct. Yeah. 1 over 5 plus 5. This is like minus 5 x to the power minus 1, so it will be 5 over x square. Now simplify it. I need this here. Multiply 5 inside. You'll get 1 plus 25 over x square. And that is the answer. Very simple one. Y equal look 2. Yeah. Sometimes you simplify the function. Your notice is, is nothing. This is will be log a to the base two it's log t to the ball into with the base two. I take it as a product. So I distribute the derivative. Assume the, distribute the log. So that will be three. This is two cubed plus ln two log t with the base two. And find the derivative of this. So it will be y prime. It will be derivative of three, which is zero, which is now lin two times derivative of this, which is one over t lin two. This is cancelled, so I'm getting one over t. That is the answer. Fx equal this 
and you equal this, find dz by dx. dz by dx, dz over du, z is a function of u, times du by dx, and u is a function of x. So you need to find dz by du, that will be what? This is u. I can't rewrite it. u squared plus u to the power 1 over 3. That will be 1 over 3. u squared plus u to the minus 2 over 3. Times derivative of this, which is 2u plus 1. <laughs> du by dx. This is quotient rule. I have one. You can make cancel, but okay, you can do it quotient. One x minus one minus x over x minus one square. X cancel with x minus one over x minus one square. Okay. Now this will be part of u, and this is part of x. It means I need to check if x equals two. You will be what? Two over two minus one, so you equal two also. So plug the numbers. So dz by dx at x equal two, which means u equal two, will be this at u equal two. See one over three. U square two plus two uh, four plus two, which is six. To the power minus two over three times what? Times five. Okay, this is dz by du hmm? times now by two. This is will be minus one over what? Two minus one over one. So that give me what? Minus five over three cube root of six. That will be minus five over three cube root thirty six, which is this one. Tangent line of this, since I have ln of something, let me simplify it. Y will be ln of this minus ln of this. Okay, which is this one I can simplify, since this I can make it to the power half. That will be half ln of tan 2x. Minus ln one plus second to x. What they want? He want the tangent line. He want the slope. He want to check the slope. Is it zero or undefined or this or this or this? Okay. So I need to find the slope at t at x equal by over six. Okay. So I just I need to find the slope at by over six. So now find f prime will be what? Half. This is tan 2x. This is secant squared 2x times 2. Minus. Huh? Times 2. So these two cancel. Easy. Okay. Right. Minus. We have what here? You know, 1. Plus second to x, and there I have what? I have uh, second to x, then to x times two. Okay. So f prime at y over six, that will be what? Second square by over 3 over 10 by over 3 minus 2 secant by over 3 10 by over 3 all over 1 plus secant by over 3. What is secant by over 3? It's 2. Correct? Sine, cosine by over 3 is half. So cosecant is 2. What is tan by over 3? 
and 60 will be sine 60 or square root of 3 over 2 over half. So that will be square root of 3. Yeah, let us plug the numbers. That will be 4 over square root of 3 minus 2 times 2 times square root of 3 over over what? 1 plus 2 over 3. Okay, that will give me what? 4 over root 3. Let me simplify it or rationalize it. Minus 4 root 3 over 3. So I'm getting what? 4 root 3 over 3 minus 4 root 3 over 3, which is 0. So what will be the tangent line? It will be horizontal line. The slope is zero. I have horizontal tangent in this case. H of x equal this. Find h prime at two. You need to find h prime at x. Then just substitute. That will be f prime at x g of x minus two times the derivative of this. Here I have product. So it will be g of x plus x g prime of x. This minus two will not cross. That's it. I'm done. So H prime at 2 will be F prime at 2 G of 2 minus 2 times G at 2 plus 2 G prime at 2. Yeah, let me substitute. What is G at 2? G at 2 is 3. So that 2 times 3, 6 minus 2 at 4. We have a prime at 4? Yes, that's OK. Times G at 2. G at 2 is what? 3 plus 2, g prime at 2, g prime at 2 is minus 2, that is minus 2. So I have what, if I'm at 4, which is minus 5, times 3 minus 4, that will be minus 1, so it will be 5, so this is my answer. If I equal t square root ln t, find dy on dt. Let me write y t, ln t to the power half. So it will be y prime, derivative to product rule. Derivative to first, which is one. So I have a square root ln t plus t, derivative of this, which is half ln t, so the word minus half times derivative of this, which is one over t. So this is canceled. So I have a square root ln t plus one over two root ln t which is this one. If y equals sine of 2x minus 2 cosine 2x, you want the third derivative plus this. Let me do it one by one. y prime, it will be what? Since the third, we can do it easily. y prime, it will be 2 cosine 2x plus 2 sine x. Oh, don't worry. Yeah. Yeah, it will be yeah, derivative of this times 2. So it will be 2 cosine 2x two plus 2 sine x. Second derivative. That will be. This is will be minus sine 2x times 2. So I have minus 4 sine 2x. Plus 2 cosine x. Plus 2 cosine x. OK. Third derivative. Will be what? Now this one, what is the derivative? Cosine two x times two. So it will be minus eight cosine two x minus two sine x. Okay. Now I want the third derivative plus four the first derivative. That will give me one. The third derivative, which is this, minus eight cosine two x minus two sine x plus. This is multiplied by one. This is by zero. This is by four. Four here it will be eight cosine two x plus eight sine x. This is cancelled. That will be six sine x, which is this. 
فيكس يكبر سيكند الجي ستان يو وونت اف سيركل جي ذات ويل بي اف برايم ات جي اوف اكس ذات جي برايم اوف اكس لقيت وات يو ويل جيت اف برايم ات جي اوف اكس واتس ذا ديريفيتيف اوف ذيس ات ويل بي سيكند سيكند تان تايمز تان اوف تان اكس تايمز ديريفيتيف اوف جي which is secret square x. So that will be the answer. Now I can look to the model in five. Yeah. What I have, I can simplify it. This one will be lin five. Look in the base five, x plus four, or x minus four. Also, I can simplify it more. As what? Then five as a number, and this is will be log with the base five x plus four minus log with the base five x minus four. Okay. Now let me do the derivative. Now this is y, huh? Now y prime. Well, the dy over the x. This is a number. Times. Here we have what? Then five times u derivative of this which is one minus the same thing then five times u derivative of this which is one very clear if multiply by then five i have one over x plus four minus one over x minus four and that will be x minus four minus x minus four over x squared minus 16 cancelled so that will be 8 over 16 minus 6 squared, the way he wrote it. Multiply by minus. Okay. Differentiable at x equal minus 1. You want the derivative of this at minus 1. h of x, assume this, f of minus 1 over g of x. What is f of minus 1? Just a number. This is a number. You don't care about it. f at minus 1. So that will be 3 over gx, or in other words, 3gx to the power minus 5. Let's find the derivative now. H prime will be what? Minus 3 g of x to the power minus 2 times g prime at x. You want h prime at minus 1. And I call this one h of x. Huh? And this is a number f of minus one is a number. This is this is this is the catch. So it will be minus three g at minus one to the power minus two times j prime at minus one. That will be minus e times g at minus one is two. So it will be one over two square. G prime at minus one it's four. So that will be what minus three times 1 over 4, times 4, that will be minus 3, which is this one. Okay. W equal R square plus this. So W is R square, 1 over 6, R is minus 2. R square. Now in the second derivative. So the first derivative is 2R minus... 1 over 3, r is minus 3. Actually, this is in 3.3. It should be in 3.3. Since just I need the second derivative, nothing to worry about. r squared plus 1 over 6, r is minus 2. This is minus 2 over 6, which is minus 1 over 3, r is minus 3. Second derivative will be 2. And this is what? Plus r is minus 4, which is 2 plus 1 over r to the power 4, which is this. You want the first derivative of this. Now it will be f prime sine of something that will be cosine of something times derivative of this. This is by just a number. Who cares? By derivative of this e to the power x squared minus four derivative of this, which is two x. Now what they want f prime at two. That will be cosine by e to the power zero, which is one, 
times by e to the board zero, which is one times four. Cosine by is what? Minus one. So that will be minus four by, which is this one. Yeah. You want to find the derivative of this? Let me call it f of x. f of x is what? Sine 7x plus ln 5x all to the power half. This is f of x. So f prime, let's find f prime, will be half of sine 7x plus ln 5x to the power minus half. So this is in the denominator times derivative of this sine of something. Sine of something. It will be cosine 7x plus ln 5x times derivative of this, which is 7 plus uh, over 5x, 5. Right, so let me rewrite it. That will be 1 over 2 other square root sine 7x plus ln 5x times. This is what? This is 7 plus 1 over x, huh? This is 7 plus 1 over x. Or in other words, 7x plus 1 over x. So I can say that will be cosine 7x plus ln 5x times 7x plus 1 over x. In other words, it's cosine 7x plus 5 ln x times 7x plus 1 over 2x for both sine 7x plus ln 5x, which is this one. Yeah, you can continue. Fx equal this, find f prime at one. Very, very easy one. F prime, one plus 72 to the power x, ln 72. So it will be f prime at one, it will be one plus 72, ln 72, which is this one. e to the power tan x square, what will be f prime? e to the power tan x square, Derivative of this, secant square x square, derivative of this, 2x. We want it at what? Square root by over 2. Huh? Square root is, is just on over by. Huh? So that will be e tan, what is square by over 4? Times secant square by over 4 times 2 root by over 2. Cancelled. This is will be what? e to the power tan by over 4, e to the power 1. Secant square by over 4. Secant by over 4 is root 2. Square it times 2 times root pi. So it will be 2e root pi, which is this one. If x equal this, find f prime at y over 2. f prime 3 sine x over 1 plus cosine x square times derivative of this quotient rule. I have cosine 1 plus cosine x minus which become plus sine x square all over 1 plus cosine x all square. So that would be 3 sine x all square times what? Here I have cosine squared plus sine squared, which is 1 plus cosine x over 1 plus cosine x squared. So that I can substitute, I think now. F prime at pi over 2 will be what? 3 sine pi over 2, 1. This is 0, 1 plus 0 squared. Here actually you can cancel, huh? Yeah, you have 1 over 1 plus 0. So you have 3 times 1 times 1, which is 3. OK. 
You want the second derivative and the third derivative for this function? Yeah, I'll do these two, then we'll stop. Um, first, simplify it. If we don't simplify it, you will be struggling. This one, notice, 1 plus tan x over secant x is 1 plus sine over cosine over 1 over cosine. And that is it's only cosine plus sine. So f of x is what? Cosine x plus sine x squared. And that is what? Actually, that is cosine squared plus 2 cosine sine plus sine squared. And that is what? 1 plus sine 2x. Plus, if you want the end derivative, I can find f prime will be what? 2 cosine 2x. F double will be what? It will be uh, minus 4 sine 2x. F triple, it will be what? Uh, 8. Uh, minus 8 cosine 2 x. What they want? They want the second derivative plus the third derivative at 0. Second at 0, sine 0, 0. Third in a cosine 0, 1, minus 8. So the answer is minus 8, which is this one. Let me finish by this one. First, you should notice this. As I said before, this is similar to this one. So this is cosine x plus sine x all cubed. So y prime, this is y. So y prime, also you need to be careful that one. Don't forget, we have three here, okay. So that will be three cosine x plus sine x square. Derivative of this, which is cosine Let's be right at sine plus cosine. Sine x plus cosine x. Yeah. So the derivative, 3 cosine, yeah. Sine x plus cosine x squared. Derivative of this, which is cosine x minus sine x. Now notice this one, like what I did here, it's what? 1 plus sine 2 x. So this one is 3, 1 plus sine 2 x times cosine x minus sine x, which is this one. Yeah. I think it will stop here. Let me stop the recording. Thank you.